right, two birds, here we have the steps functioning as two independent um, sequences. And you can kind of hear it's left channel, right channel. And you can hear it's a little different if I take this out. That's left. And that's the right channel. And so you just got da 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 and this is da 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 going on here and we'll undo all of this and I'll turn these down this these just go out to a mixer left channel out to the computer land and then out to you in the wide world but when you start your steps, it'll look like this, all green, I'm pretty sure. Um, so what's necessary now is to, we're going to hold this one down so it blinks. And that's your LFO, that's going to be our clock. And we're going to output that clock from the output, which is this rectangular deal here. And let's think this through. And that'll go here. And it'll also go here. So now we should have a couple of different things. But we're going to need to turn these into our yellow ones. And now, see if I pull this out, we'll have a five step. It takes a couple of laps to catch up. So there's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I don't know if we can hear this. No, of course not, because we don't have anything going into the octave thing here yet. So if we leave that like that, and we take our output, and now we should have a five octave thing on, on this... Um, If I put it in here, it's actually just, and now if we wanted to hear this one, we'd put it in there and go to the octave here. These are my oscillators and they're tuned slightly differently, kind of so that we can hear them. If I bring up this side, That's basically how you do to make that. And there's some variation. You can tune these differently. Um, but you can get two, kind of a three against two thing going here. And you can... now become kind of slew or uh, glide or portamento to a point. It's not as predictable as I would and part of our confusion here is that the, there has to be enough time interval between the steps for this thing to rise.
But that's it, short and sweet. You can now, and this is of course our LFO, our clock. If we took a different LFO from somewhere else, you would have a six step sequencer. Uh, this would turn, you know, you'd make this one yellow like this. And then you would have, uh, and you can use the same technique because this gate is what determines where this division is. If I took this and put it here, You've got two and three instead of three and two. And we can kind of shove this up because it's not as audible. And I guess you could get some type of switching thing, you know, to distribute which one of these. You could plug them all in but have them not active until they were rotated around with a different sequencer or switching system as somehow. But you can use this in a lot of different ways. It's pretty uh, interesting. I like it a lot, the steps. All right, that's it for today. Keep on keeping up.